It got me. This is crazy. I lost my grandma. Healing is not linear or grief is not linear. I could be completely fine and the next day, like, I'm sad and I'm crying. Shorty giving Esther, but she fed up. Searching for a king to hold it down. But it's time you've been waiting your turn. They can never take what's yours. It's already written, baby. It's your girl Tayani Elise, and if you don't like it, peace. And I'm back with another video. So today I have a whole list of things I need to do. Right now I am shooting content with one of my clients for her Instagram page. Then I'm gonna have a little spa day because your girl needs to relax. This three day workshop just today drained me. This week drained me. Mm -mm. Today drained me. The identity shift workshop if you missed it you missed out i really need a spa day and to just take some time to myself and then later tonight i'm doing part two of my boyfriend's birthday we are going to beat the bomb it was a surprise but i told him last night uh, i suck i know but yeah me and a few of his friends are gonna go to beat the bomb i'm a little excited a little nervous because i don't want paint to um explode on my hair but it's cool it's cool but now i'm waiting for my client to finish getting dressed and i'm gonna set up Look at Miss Kimberly Worcester. I thought this would be longer. And that's a wrap. Back time. For, while that's running, I am going to cook some chicken tenders. No, I'm gonna cook stuffed chicken breast. Oh, cooking. I'm thinking about just talking to y'all about what's going on in my life, how I've been feeling lately, and yeah. So honestly, recently, I've been a little overwhelmed with my life. I think there was a point maybe about six months ago where my life was going really good and then all of a sudden everything just started taking a turn for the worst like i feel like i lost my grandma i have a lot going on with family life and honestly i feel like let's go back to my grandma really quickly i feel like you always hear of people's family members passing and you're like oh sorry for your loss but i don't think you really under ever understand what it feels like until it's someone you love and I, i've just never lost anyone that close to me before like i've lost aunts and stuff but your grandma like i don't know it just was a lot but I, i'm in this place and i like to call it my spring season and i can talk more in the season of christianity if y'all want but i feel like i'm in this place where god I'm not, I'm in the middle, like kind of an exodus where they're not in slavery and bondage in Egypt anymore, but they're not in the promised land yet. I just feel like I'm in the middle and where I'm a little frustrated with God because it's like, what are we doing with my life here? I feel like I'm, I'm answering your calls. I feel like I'm stewarding. I'm not perfect, so I ain't gonna go over here and go crazy and say, your girl perfect, but I feel like I'm trying my hardest, but... I keep be, being met with closed, door, closed doors. I keep trying. I keep planting seeds. And in my three-day workshop, we talked about seeing it before you see it. So, like, basically still being diligent even when you don't see what you're praying for. So, I've been trying to do that. I don't know, y'all. It's easy. It sounds easy and it sounds good, but it's not. I've been a little overwhelmed with my life. I'm here today. I just, let's be real. Like, I had a whole breakdown. And also what I noticed about the grieving process is like healing is not linear or grief is not linear. Like one day I could be completely fine and the next day like I'm sad and I'm crying. I don't know if anyone has lost their a grandparent or even anyone close like a friend. Like let me know in the comments what your grieving process was like because out the blue I could just become really sad. And I don't get it, you know. Okay, let's show y'all what we got here. Now I'm about to place these tenderloins on the pot, on the pan. The girl was a whole chef, okay? Like, let me know if y'all want cooking that. I does just cooking stuff. That's my man. That's how I keep him. Say no. So that's, oh, let me go get the bath water. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot. Whew. I don't want it to overflow because I've done that before. Making the filler for the stuffed chicken and my filler I don't be putting it on the inside I be putting it on the top because I think it just tastes good that way all done so my mom made me this gift basket for Easter she's so sweet but I'm about to drink this wine use the bath bombs 
and the little head scarf bath thingy that she bought me and a candle but i'm gonna eat first because the girl's hungry and then i'm gonna take the bath it was about to be bath time and in the beautiful basket that my mom bought me there were was like a little headband to protect my hair from getting wet so i'm going to put it on there okay hold on i think i'm doing this wrong this is the headband she bought me. Isn't it so cute? Like, thank you, mom. I love you so much. You're the I have the best mom ever. Like, I don't think any mom beats my mom. Literally. What y'all think? Do I look bath time ready? Okay, now it's time to get in. I will see you all when I'm done. I'm about to bust a little music, bring my laptop in, and relax, because your girl deserves it. Okay, okay this is the fit for Beat the Bomb, because I don't want to get my nice clothes messed up, so I'm going to bring an extra pair of clothes, because, well, the clothes I had on earlier, because if my clothes get messed up, I'll be mad, because mama don't play about her clothes. Yeah. This is what I'm wearing. We're going inside, y'all. I'm so excited. We here, y'all. I'm so excited. Wait, what you just say? What's our team name? Butterfly Splashes. <laughs> That's what y'all wanted to be called. He's talking about some butterfly splashes. What? <laughs> okay, so our name is the Dream Team. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's more like, it's like slime, but like it was all in my lashes. It was crazy. But now we're about to go over to Throw Social just to see it because they never seen it before. But I took my boyfriend here last year for his birthday. Today is Easter Sunday and I'm taking my boyfriend to church. Uh, I'm going to Union Church. If you need a church home, try them. I love them so much. Like I have this outfit on. Y'all, I wear this outfit all the time. Well, three times since I got it. But you know, one thing about me is we gonna wear that outfit again every time because one thing about me is I don't care what Instagram say. I bought that outfit to wear it. Mm-hmm, I did. But I need to get more of these jumpsuits because I love it. Honestly, I was gonna wear a dress, but my toes, the toes ain't given today and I can't find my clothes and shoes. So I was like, you know what? We're gonna do something with sneakers. I know it's Easter Sunday, but the Union Church is very welcoming, so. Solution to me. There's something that God's trying to fix that only you can. After you die, there's supposed to be an imprint on the earth where you were. We're grateful, we're grateful, we're grateful. Service was great, y'all. He did He did a sermon on just, when you have doubt in God, and you know, when you lose in faith, and just because God didn't do it now or when you wanted him to, doesn't mean he isn't coming through. It was just a good sermon. It was a great sermon. Don't you think, babe? My boyfriend loved the church. And then we did a growth track. If you don't know, Union Church has growth track. We learned about ourselves, like our personality types and about our spiritual gifts, our personality types. Now we're at IHOP. I always get the smokehouse combo if I come here. I don't come here often, but when I do, smokehouse combo. Yeah, buddy. Shorty giving Esther, but she fed up. Searching for a king to hold it down. But it's time you've been waiting. 